I fear no man. But that thing... It scares me. No, I, I, ain't, I ain't talking about that freak, all right? He's not here, is he? One shudders to imagine what inhuman thoughts lie behind that mask. What dreams of chronic can sustain cruelty. Hello everyone, my name is CC Mackay, and today we're going to discuss the most infamous NPC Team Cherry has ever presented the community, Macebug. Speculation as to what role Macebug played in Hollow Knight was debated by scholars of r slash Hollow Knight memes for like a month, but I've done the research and I'm here to set the story straight. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this very serious lore video on Macebug. Before getting too in-depth, I think it's best we start by looking at the information we know definitively. When exploring the Forgotten Crossroads, we discover an abandoned storeroom, guarded by a massive bug clad in armor, known as False Knight. After the fight, it's discovered the maggot's weapon is actually a living bug, and will attempt to scurry off if unprovoked. When Dream Nailed, Macebug says, free at last! It's possible Macebug stayed with False Knight because he was too afraid to escape, but since he will completely freeze up when hit, it's also possible False Knight repetitively bashed Macebug on the ground to stop him from moving. And, well, that's it. However, according to r slash Hollow Knight memes, there's much more to Macebug's story than we the player are shown. I apologize in advance, but to properly piece this story together, a slight tiny, very small smidgen of speculation will be used. But trust me, it's well worth the sacrifice. Our story begins years and years before the fall of Hollow Nest. Though we call him Macebug, this little arsonist was once known by a different name. Chickslub Impactor, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. Keep in mind, Chickslub is just a floating rock in space, and you know, rocks aren't sentient. But as it flew aimlessly, within the darkness that is inanimacy, a sort of concentrated warmth began emanating from the Milky Way galaxy. A warmth which the floating rock could feel. Attracted to this alien sensation, the mace-shaped rock slowly changed trajectory towards this beacon. Come in, Sab-1. This is ISS Control. Houston's requesting a feed from your helmet cam, over. Uh, they want you to look over towards the dark side of the Earth should be cresting the horizon about 15 degrees east of the starboard PV rays. There it is. We're getting your feet, Sat-1. Come in, Houston. Uh, are you getting this? After the collision, for centuries Chickslub slept, unaware of the devastation it had caused this world. Until one day. Hey, hey, Papa Tejio! The condon Gio? No, that condon Bo. Ah, <laughs> 
Alone in the world, Macebug scurried across Hollow Nest in search of answers. Who was he? What submerged him into Crystal Peak? Why is it the only thing he remembers is being attracted to an emanating warmth? A... a flame? The thought intrigued Macebug. Everywhere he looked, Lumaflies glimmered a pale glow. But that glow wasn't the same to Macebug. It lacked a source of heat, a crackle of sparks, a potential for inferno, for destruction. Destruction? Macebug quickly pushed the idea away, horrified his mind would even reach such a dark notion. Pulled back to reality, Macebug realized the challenges Hollow Nest presented him. Macebug had no geo, so he had to travel long distances by foot. <coughs> Though his near indestructible shell can parry any attack, he possessed no means of fighting, so some days would be spent as a beach ball until his harassers became bored. But worst of all, Macebug was alone. He had no one to adventure with, to share a laugh, to call friend. That is, until he met a very special maggot. <coughs> Free at last, Macebug scurried as far as possible from False Knight's body, but the torment wasn't over. Every turn he took, an undead husk swiped his shell, a pit of spikes blocked his path, a pool of acid ate his flesh, it was nightmare materialized in Hollow Nest, yet all Macebug could think is, why? Why would the maggot Macebug thought his friend take advantage of him like that, remove him of his freedom, enslave him as a weapon to be beaten on the ground nearly every minute? Why? And again, that dark part of his mind began to fantasize. Frustration, anger, fury, hatred, kindling into one desire to burn everything in sight. But Macebug had no means to convey his hatred of the world, no tools needed to light the fire. So Macebug searched throughout the Dead Kingdom, traveling far and wide to find the fuel of his desire. And in his frantic search, he discovered the Abyss. Before you is the entrance to Deep Nest. Jump in the hole, and we'll provide you the means you've sought. Walk away, and you'll never know your true origins. The choice is yours.
We're sorry, but the following acts of violence violate this channel's policy of making only Christian content. If you are unsatisfied with being blocked from seeing the merciless carnage mace bug subjugates onto Deep Nest, please try imagining in your mind the pain and suffering its denizens undergo for the most optimal viewing experience. Window for imagination ends in 3, 2, 1. And that's the end of part 1! I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a really big project I decided to tackle, and I'm quite happy with the end results. Obviously though, this isn't the end. There's so much mystery surrounding Macebug and his destructive origins. However, how fast part 2 is made will depend on how well you, the viewer, like this form of Hollow Knight content. So if you want to see more very serious lore videos like this one, bonk as hard as you can that like button. The more I know viewers enjoyed this video, the more likely part 2 will be released before Silksong ever does. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to see the vast variety of Hollow Knight content produced on my channel. You'd hate to miss it. See ya.